Hey everybody, welcome back. In this following video, I'll show you how can you fix Steam Cloud out of date. In order to fix Steam Cloud out of date, you could follow the steps. First of all, you want to log into the Steam application and then you will be taken to the home page. So first step, what you could do is you could actually use this method such as enabling Steam Cloud synchronization. So for that, you want to click on the Steam icon from a top left hand side corner of your screen, then go to settings. As you go to settings here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on storage, which is right over here. You could find the toggle button right over here. So unfortunately, I have zero items, so the interface is completely different. And you just have to make sure to toggle the button or enable Steam Cloud and restart Steam and see if the error message still, dis still appears or not. After which, what you could also do is you want to go back to the home page. And here, you want to go ahead and make sure to click on library. And after which you could actually go to locate the game right since i do not play any game so there isn't any options then what you want to do is locate the particular game that you're having issue with right click on the mouse and go to properties after you go to properties then make sure to tap on compatibility and make sure to enable some changes right over there so make sure to click on run as an administrator as well and then you also want to make sure that you've selected windows 8 after you've done it so completely close the application from the background you also want to make sure to check it at the bottom so here you could see it's running and click on exit steam after which you also want to go to the task manager and click on task manager and here you want to go ahead and locate steam right on the search box and if you locate steam right click on the mouse and click on end task now restart your device and that will be able to fix your issue all it now if nothing seems to be working out then you could simply uninstall it and uh, download the latest version of it that will be able to help you out to fix your issue so i hope the video was helpful thank you for watching see you in the next video